Hello again, I'm Paul Duenner with AEA Technology Incorporated. In this next video segment, I'll be introducing you to our eTDR PC Vision software. It's included with all our E2020 TDRs. You can also download it from our website to test drive the software by using the demo traces included in the download. It's free and the plot management is fully functional even without our TDR attached, as you'll see in the following video. First step to using eTDR PC Vision with the E2020 TDR is to connect the USB cable and power up the TDR. Also, be sure the TDR is at the measurement screen as shown. Note the trace displayed as you'll see this same defective cable on the PC shortly. When installed, eTDR PC Vision will add its icon on your desktop. Click on the icon to open the software. It will automatically detect the TDR and open a connection and display the Get Trace tab shown. Other tabs include Stored Traces, COM Port Utilities, TDR Setup, and Cables. In the Get Trace tab, you can press the Plot Current Trace button to upload a snapshot of live traces on the measurement screen, or press Plot Archive Trace to open a previously stored trace on the PC. The latter is always available even if no TDR is connected. This could be handy for emailing a trace to a supervisor or another technician who does not have a TDR connected to get a second opinion about the cable's condition. We'll open a current plot from the TDR to show the graph and all it can display. Like the TDR's display, the vertical axis is the z-scale shown in ohms, and the horizontal axis is the distance, which can be in feet or meters. The bottom line shows the cable type, impedance, velocity factor, used by the TDR along with the noise filter status, on or off, and the date and time. None of this data can be changed in the software. The two cursors can be moved directly or by using the controls under their data. The cursor's delta is the difference in the red and blue cursor's distance and impedance readings. Delta distances may appear negative or positive depending on the red and blue cursor positions. Positive distance, as shown here, indicates moving away from the TDR, blue to red, and negative if it's back towards the TDR. Next, we'll cover the charts menus. The file menu has options for archiving, saving, exporting, printing, or comparing two plots on the same graph. The edit menu permits copying to clipboard. The view menu permits expanding or reducing the graph. The chart window has options to change background color, save or load previously saved settings. The chart axis is useful to adjust either or both axis as illustrated to improve the trace's resolution. First, turn off any auto scales that may be on to gain control of that axis. Then enter the desired Z scale and range axis and click apply to return to the modified chart. Note the plot of the trace have expanded both vertically and horizontally. Chart title permits editing the title or font color. If the chart's title meets Microsoft Windows naming conventions, it can automatically be used as the file name when saved. Chart Trace has options for color showing the examples of the trace. It's 1,910 data points, 2,000 data points if you're in metric mode. To zoom on an area of interest, click upper left, drag lower right, and release. Now you can see the data points individually. Zoom back out, left click the lower right corner, and hold until the upper left corner. That completes our review of the plot. To upload and work with traces saved in the TDR's memory, open the Stored Traces tab. First, press the View Available button to upload and display the list of traces in the TDR. When the list opens, you can highlight one or more traces to open in the graphic plot. To copy the list to another document, press the Copy to Clipboard button and paste it from Clipboard. To upload and archive multiple traces or the entire memory, select the traces or click Select All Traces, then press Archive Selection. 
The software will create part of the file name and ask you to complete it. The traces will be saved to a selected folder on the PC. The TDR memory can be deleted, one trace, a selection of traces, or all. It's a two-step process as there is no undelete. COMPORT Utility tab provides assistance for establishing the PC to TDR connection. Although using a USB port to communicate, a virtual COM port needs to be open. If the PC does not do this automatically, use the COM port utilities. First read the recommended corrective actions you may need to take. Next look to see if a COM port has been designated. If not, press rescan to find an available port which will appear at the top of the serial port settings box. Next press connect to port to complete the connection and note the serial port status box change. Now ETDR PC Vision can communicate with the TDR. The TDR Setup tab is designed to give you rapid, easy control over the TDR settings. You can do all of the following. Upload settings from the TDR. Adjust the settings. Download the new settings back to the TDR. Or read the settings from a file saved on the PC and write a settings file to the PC. This tab is helpful in production environments where the production engineer wants specific settings used for specific product testing. The line person only needs to know how to download the named setup file and all the settings will be correct in the TDR to perform the testing. The cables tab is a powerful and handy way to have an unlimited number of custom cable lists saved on your PC that can be quickly downloaded into the TDR for a specific job or sites testing. To modify a TDR's cable list, first press Read List from TDR to upload the TDR's current list of 64 cable types. Next, you can customize the list by adding your new cable. Enter the cable's description and values as shown. C0 for the cable's impedance and VF for its velocity factor up to three digit positions. Now you can either overwrite a cable you never need, or use an empty slot at the end of the list, then press Overwrite. If you want the new cable at the top of the list or other position, just promote it to where you desire. Any of the cables on the list can be moved or grouped to their most convenient location to create customized cable lists that work best for you. When you are ready, you can press Write List to TDR to download the new list to the TDR. You can also press Write List to File to save it on the PC for later recall. Thank you for watching. For more information on our E2020 TDRs and our other instruments, please visit our website at www.aeatechnology.com. Learn more about how using STEP TDR technology can save you time, money, and headaches. Or call us at the numbers shown below to speak with a sales representative or technical associate.